Okay, so I have now uh, got the character moving. Um, when we press play, we can jump across the different platforms. And obviously if we fall off, we just keep falling, right? So what we need to do now is if we go to our ladders, um, you can select all your ladders at once and you need to make sure that your um, your box collider has this is trigger uh, ticked. And what that does is instead of this box that is around the ladder being um, a solid wall, it means we can walk over it, we can climb over it, but um, we know the ladder knows that we're on it, if that makes sense. So then we can start coding a behavior to stop it basically um, acting as a wall or letting us just run straight through. The other thing I want you to do is make sure that you have named your ladders exactly the same because if you don't um, it can be very very complicated okay. So for now uh, rename all your ladders make sure they're called ladder or um, L or wh whatever it is you want to call them but make sure they're all identical okay and make sure they're one long ladder as opposed to a lot of little ones okay. Once you've got that done we can go and look at the code. So um, the code is complicated, but don't panic because you can understand it, okay? So the first thing I did is add a Boolean in here just to check that if we're on the ladder or not, okay? So bool on ladder, you don't need to set it because we're gonna be setting that as we're playing. And then if you come down, you can see in our update code, I have so much more now, so, so, so much more. And basically, we need to check if we're on the ladder, we're gonna start doing this behavior. Otherwise, then we'll be just walking around, okay? So uh, where you have your code, which is roughly this, I just want you to add if on ladder in the brackets, uh, all this code for moving up and down the ladder. And you can see here, we're moving up and down the Y axis at our move speed. Now, what you can do is if you wanna walk at, let's say half the speed, we can divide move speed by two, or we can divide it by 1.5, or whatever you like. But I'm just gonna keep mine as move speed. And that will allow us to, when we're on the ladder, move up and down. And when we're not on the ladder, i.e. any other time, we'll just be moving left or right and jumping as we were doing earlier, okay? So we still have our jump check, but now I've added two new methods, okay? Now these are the important things. These are the things that is gonna make it so that when we interact with the ladder, um, stuff happens, okay? So basically, uh, we have void on trigger enter 2D. Remember the 2D because uh, Visual Studio will let you just do without 2D for 3D sake. Uh, so on trigger enter 2D, so when we enter our trigger, i.e. our ladder here, because remember, is a trigger, uh, we are going to check to see if the collider that we've collided with, i.e. the trigger we've checked, collided with, has a name of ladder, okay? So we get the collider, and then we say, if the colliders transform the game object, i.e. the thing we hit, if its name is ladder, then we're gonna do this stuff. And then in the exact same way, we're also gonna have the exit 2D doing the same thing. So we're gonna check to see what we're leaving, and if what we're leaving is a ladder, we're gonna do stuff. So first off, we need to check that the ladder is true. So we've just hit the ladder, we're gonna say we are now on the ladder, we're doing something on the ladder. Uh, we're gonna check, change the rigid body's velocity to nothing. So we're gonna change no movement on the X and no movement on the Y. And then we're also gonna change the type of the rigid body to kinematic, okay? Now, that might seem complicated, but I'll just explain what that does. So if we go back to the player, in here you've got dynamic, kinematic, and static. Static basically disables the rigid body. Uh, the rigid body exists, but nothing will happen. Uh, kinematic will only work when you do an input. So when you tell it to move left, it'll move left, but gravity no longer has an effect on it. It'll just keep doing whatever you've told it to do. And then dynamic is basically a real world object. It'll fall when it's meant to be falling, it'll stop when it's meant to stop, plus you can have control over it, okay? so. When we get onto the ladder, we want to have a little less control, right? We don't want it to start falling. We don't want it to start doing stuff. We just want to be able to move up and down when we want to. So that's why we're going to change it to kinematic, but only when we're on the ladder. And then finally, we are going to set the position of the character to the X of the ladder, 
because we wanted to kind of jump and snap onto the ladder, if that makes sense. So when I hit the ladder, I want to, I don't want to be stuck here. I want to snap onto it and be right in the center there. And we're going to get the Y position of where I am right now. So wherever I landed on the ladder, and then I'm also going to get the Z position of wherever I am. So if, for example, if I hit the ladder here, I will snap on and I'll be there. If I hit the ladder here, I will snap on and I will be there. Okay. And coming back to the code, very simple. We leave the ladder. We are no longer on the ladder. We set it to false and we change the body type back to dynamic. We want full control again. Okay. So if I play that and show you what it's like, so again, I can still move around because remember I have this if statement. If I'm on the ladder, do this stuff. If I'm not on the ladder, I'm going to do that stuff. And I jump across. And then when I jump into the ladder, it snaps into position. And you can see over here, the rigid body has changed to uh, kinematic. And now if I go up and down, I can climb up and down the ladder. Now, it's a bit hard. We have no code for getting off at this point. So it's a pretty nice effect. If you climb all the way up the ladder, you jump. Oh, you jump. And you jump very high, apparently. And... Um, that is kind of you. So you can see it's changed back to dynamic. And I can go and snap onto the ladder again, move up and down, and there we go. So that would be the bare minimum, but I don't like it because if you're coming down, you can no longer jump off. There's no way of coming off apart from just falling off and dying, falling into the abyss. So here is a bit of code I wrote earlier. So if we're on the ladder, we press the up arrow, we move up the ladder. We press down arrow, we move down the ladder. Again, the X and Y is changing. But this I wrote earlier, and it's very simple, very straightforward. If the up arrow is pressed, and these two ands here, if the up arrow and the right arrow are pressed at the same time, we are gonna start a jump check, just like we did last time. And at the same time, I'm gonna adjust my right position. So this will basically allow me to jump and move right at the exact same time and then by jumping and moving right i instantly move off the ladder so i'm going to do this and then it'll carry on as normal okay so if i just save that and go back into the code so now when i jump across and then I still move up and down as normal. That's fine. That's kind of what you'd expect in the game, right? But if I stay here and jump right and jump at the same time, you can see that I can jump on and off the ladder now, which is, in my opinion, that's pretty cool. And then you come up here, you can jump off, or you can do exactly what I was doing last time, which is climb all the way up the ladder. And you could argue that's a bug, but I see it as a kind of feature, you know, like, oh, I haven't clicked the left button. So. Uh, in here, exactly the same thing. I'm just going to copy this, oh, copy this, paste it in here, and then this will be left arrow. And instead of the plus here, I'm just going to change that to a minus. Job done, right? So I'll file, save that. And there's one more thing I want to do to get this ladder stuff working. So we'll jump across. We can go up and down, we can jump over. Whoop. And then we can jump off this one too. Oh, there we go. Now, might be a little bit buggy, but we can work those out, okay? Now, finally, when you jump on the ladder, um, the player is on the wrong side, okay? Very, very simple fix. Uh, make sure your player is selected. And then over on the sprite render, we just need to set the order and layer to a higher number than our ladders. So I would go pretty high because you always want the player to be on top, okay? And that'll fix that as well. Okay, so that should, in my opinion, that should be all the movement pretty much done and working pretty well. Um, just thought there, one thing you could do is you might want to do, <laughs> in hindsight, it's probably best to have done this first, but depending on how you feel, um, you can come in and you can edit these ladders, right? And just ed edit the colliders so that they're really, really narrow. And you can do that on both ladders. And that should that should help with the colli uh, collisions a little. That should help with a lot of 
the kind of physics issues because you'll leave it quicker and you'll enter it quicker okay so I'll just show you how that looks now and it just seems like instead of snapping to the ladder you're actually landing on it I like it uh, um, I'm pretty happy with that and I think you will like that too so um, give this a bash let me know how you feel about it and um, yeah um, I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow okay